Well, I've done it now. I went and put a hole in my thumb. Find out what happened and the very valuable lesson I learned right now on your Monday Morning Marcus Minute. So if we've talked in person recently, then chances are I've told you about the deck that I'm building right here on the back of our house. I'm really proud of the work I've done on this and, and don't get me wrong, I've still got more work to do, but it's coming together and it's looking really good. So here's what happened. I had one more screw to put in and then I was done for the night. I, was, I had my drill in my right hand and, and I was holding the screw with my left just to get it started. I get it started and then I put my hand back and. I'm pushing it in, well, the screw popped to the side, and you all know what happened. The drill bit, the, the Torx drill bit went right into my thumb, through my thumbnail, and well, it hurt, and it hurt a lot. It's a wonder I didn't pass out. <laughs> anyway, I started thinking, well, what could I have done differently? And the first thought that popped in my head is, you know what, I am not a deck building professional. This is not what I do for a living. It's not what I do professionally. Chances are it would have probably been a little smarter for me and much less dangerous had I hired a professional to come out and do this job for me, right? It's very similar to real estate. I talk with people all the time who are considering selling their house themselves. And although I can completely understand where they're coming from, the question is this, is it smart? Is, that a, is, is selling your house yourself as a for sale by owner, is that a wise decision? Here are my thoughts on that. It's not safe. Kind of like building a deck, right? You know, I talked to a gentleman just a couple of weeks ago who told me, he said, Marcus, he said, I sold my own property several years ago. And he told me that he had to hire an attorney to get all of the money that was supposed to come to him to get that money moved into his account. Now, I don't know everything that happened. I don't know the whole story. I don't know why the money wasn't moved into his account. But ultimately, it was a big headache for him and a big hassle. Don't let that happen to you. You know, a neat story that I have is, is uh, I worked with a couple who, they were originally trying to sell their house themselves for $190,000. And they lowered the price down to 170 dollars because they weren't getting any interest, $170,000. I met this couple and I talked to them and sure enough, I listed and sold their house. After marketing their house, I was able to sell it in about a week and a half's time, sold it for $207,500. Okay, now listen, they had dropped their price all the way down to 170. That amount of money that was put right into their pocket, that did more than pay for the commissions. Heck, it was a down payment on their new place. What you want to do when it comes to something like real estate or building decks is you want to make sure that you're working with someone who's a professional, someone who knows what they're doing. Now, as for me in this deck, I'm strongly considering hiring someone to finish this out. So that being said, if you guys know a really good deck guy, leave a message down below and let me know who it is. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, I'm your favorite Marcus. Have a great week. This has been your Monday Morning Marcus Minute. Be sure to click that like button, share this video with your friends, and follow me on social media. Are you or someone you know thinking about buying or selling real estate? If so, give me a call, 816-332-1116. Remember, I'm your favorite Marcus. Thanks for watching and have a great week.